Okay, so my task was to draw one of these shapes using Python. And now, I didn't exactly draw one of these shapes. Um, I just decided to draw some pretty flowers on my own, which may be a bit easier than drawing something like that or that. But nonetheless, I'll show you what I drew anyway. So we'll just move this off the screen. Here's my code. I'll show you what it does and then I'll walk, walk you through each of it step by step. So we'll start off, we'll turn the speed down a little bit. Let's make it eight. Save it and go up here and go run. Oh, there's an error. This is all live. There we go. Maybe that'll work now. Run. So, we've got a little turtle there using the Python draw function. You can see that one drew a flower to start with. Didn't intentionally make it look like that. And then we got flower two. And then it finishes up with a blue flower. There we go. You get the point. So, how did we get from this to this? And now I think the graphics is going to be not responsive. That's all right, we can run it again. So, what do we start with? Import turtle. Now why do we import turtle? Because turtle is a library of, let's just call it drawing, a whole bunch of drawing codes uh, that is already inbuilt to Python. So a lot of people have done the work beforehand and if you download the program, say, idle, start a new project, new file, import turtle, you'll then have access to all the functions related to turtle. And what do they include? Well, you can go to something like this, summary of turtle methods, interact, interactive python.org, and it shows you a whole bunch of turtle commands that you can use. So how did, how did we get ours to draw flowers? So step one, define a function to draw the petal. Now that's what DEF stands for, define, I'm pretty sure. It defines a function. So we're defining a function called petal that takes in three parameters, T, R, and angle. And we'll get to those in a second. So within our petal function, we start a for loop. So for i in range two, and now range, essentially what that means is it starts at zero and it counts to two, right? So zero, one, two, it's got three, three numbers in there. And then for that range, for each time, for each of those, zero, one, and two, we want to use the turtle. So t in this case stands for turtle. This t up here is, is turtle, radius, angle. So circle, we want it to draw it at a radius of R, and we'll get to where R comes into play in a moment, at an angle of angle. And then after, after it's done that drawing a circle, we want it to turn turtle to turn left, so T dot left. So just think of all the T's here, and now I've, I've typed this short as turtle. So T equals turtle. You could even comment that at the top. T equals turtle. Not my code's not the cleaner stuff, but I'm um, I'm slowly learning and getting better, getting better every 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 day. I hope. So, t dot left at an angle of 180 degrees minus angle. So that's our angle here. Because if we turned left at 180 degrees it would draw some weird shapes, whereas we want it to turn left at a particular angle so we get the shape of a flower. So we define the petal function. Next we define the actual flower function. So this takes in a parameter t, turtle, n, which is a specific amount of times. We define that later on. Uh, r for the radius and the angle again. And now it's gonna be the same as these two values, r, angle, and t. The only thing different in here is the n it takes in. And now the n, we'll get to in a bit, is the number of petals that we want our flower to have. So, 
for i in range n. Why are we using n? Because as I said, that's the number of pedals we want to use. So that's how many times we want the pedal to be drawn. So in range n, run the pedal function. So we're calling in petal here in within the flower function. And we want it to, after it's, after it's drawn an individual pedal, we want it to turn left 360, 360 degrees divided by n. And now remember, n was the number of pedals that we wanted it to draw. So why is it 360 degrees divided by n? Well, because we want our flower to eventually look like a circle. So we divide the degrees in a circle by the number of flower petals we want, aka n, and then eventually it will turn into a, a flower with the shape of a circle with the number of petals n making up that, that circle. And now we define movement here. And so uh, it takes in a t, so the turtle, and length, which is uh, how, how much we want it to move. So a number of pixels on the screen. And now I've put this in here. Uh, we'll get to that in a second to give the background color, to give the screen a background color. So window equals turtle.screen. Again, this could be just T if we wanted it to. But we'll leave it as turtle for the time being. Turtle.screen, window.backgroundColor, BG color, takes in a color here, argument, now parameter, sorry. Now this could be blue, but we won't do blue because our flower, one of our flowers is blue. And so uh, when we run the move function, we want the turtle pen PU. So what does PU stand for? So we come back to here. PU is short for pen up. So it picks the turtle's pen up. So it won't, when the pen's up, it won't draw. Similar to pen down, puts the turtle's pen down. Because turtle essentially, remember, is just a drawing function and it's, it's a pen. So PD, pen down, drawing, PU, pen up, not drawing. So we want to pick the pen up, to move the turtle forward a specified length, and then to put the pen down and start drawing. So here's where we define our turtle. Now I've called mine Sam. This could be whatever you want. It could be Bob, could be Charlotte. The name doesn't really matter. We're just giving the variable a name. And now Sam equals turtle dot turtle. And what does this mean? Well, we're calling we're calling in the turtle function up here from the turtle library to say that the variable Sam will be a turtle, aka a drawing drawing function. And now we can adjust some of this is where we get the the turtle or the pen to start drawing. And now we can find the the speed of the drawing. And the speed, I think I'm not sure. I tried it at different speeds. I tried a hundred and it goes very fast, so we'll try that in a second, but Essentially, one is the fastest or slowest. Zero won't move at all. But for this sake, to make it fast, we'll go 100. And now, to draw our first flower, we've got sam.color green. Now, you can probably guess that this means that the this flower is going to be green because we're, we're calling the turtle. We're giving it a value of green. And now... This sam.shape turtle, this could, if we delete this, let me just show you what that comes out as. So see how there was an arrow just drawing? That went really fast because I had it on 100 speed. If we, do, if we go back to having turtle there, it'll use a turtle to draw the flowers, not an arrow. Now I'm not sure why this, this keeps crashing, but let's get out of there. All right, so move Sam, negative 150. Now that means that from the start, I'm calling the move function here, and I'm putting in Sam, which is the turtle, and then the amount I want it to be off center. So it's going to move along the X axis, negative 150 pixels from the center. So what does that look like? Well, when we draw our green flower, 
see how the green one's not in the center, the red one's in the center? Because we're shifting it across from the start. So we're moving it from the start because the turtle, when it, when it starts by default, will start in the center. And then why are these two, we have a red one that's drawn with outline, a blue one that's drawn with outline, and then a green one that's drawn with fill. Well, because on the green one, we have these two commands here, begin fill, end fill, but we'll get to those in a second. Let's talk about this flower command here. Flower function more, more would be more correct term. So if we go up here, def flower, define flower function, takes in a parameter turtle, n, r, uh, and angle. So here's what we're doing here. We're, we're entering these values. We've got flower takes in the t value Sam with an n value of seven with an R value of 60 and an angle value of 60. So see there, T, Sam, N, 7, R, 60.0, angle, 60.0. And so let's have a look how these relate to our drawings. So if we go over here, seven will be the N. So essentially it's going to draw, it's going to run this petal function here n amount of times. So what do you think if we were to run the petal drawing function seven times we should result with? We should end up with seven petals, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. That's what we want. Now what do, what happens here? What's the R? So that's the radius. So that's 60, 60 pixels. So the radius here of of a flower petal is 60 pixels. And then the angle it turns is also 60. And so that's that's how we get this curvature up here rather than it being a, a circle. Because remember up here, we're taking in R and angle. And why why does it complete? Why are all the all the petals and even even spacing around each other? Well because remember we've at the when we finish drawing each individual petal, we run t.left at an angle of 360 degrees divided by n. So what is that? So if we go here, 360 divided by 7, 51. So each one of these petals is at an angle of 51 degrees. And then we repeat the process here for the red flower and the blue flower except the red flower has 10 petals and the blue flower has 14 petals. And they have, uh, the red flower is has a radius of 40 pixels and the blue flower has a radius of 70 pixels. So what happens if we change this number to like 100 and let's say this one to like 25 on the red flower? Let's have a look what happens. There we go. So now the flower has 25 petals, as you can see, and each of them is a, has a radius of 100 pixels. And, but the angle is still at 80. So what if we change this to maybe 30 and let's see what happens. Ah, there we go. It turns a lot tighter. Let's change this to 30. Maybe I got the angle and radius mixed up. Ah, it's the width of the pedal. There we go, that's cool. So across, so rather than from here to here, it's from here to here. Now, have we covered everything? Oh yes, the fill. So why is this filled in and this is not? Well, with, with the turtle function, there's a begin fill and an end fill command, as you'll find over here on this summary of turtle methods. So begin fill, remember the starting point for a filled polygon, aka where did you start drawing? End fill, close the polygon and fill with the current fill color. So the end fill, and why do we run it? Why do we run these functions? above and below the flower function. 
Well, because begin fill is going to remember where the turtle initially started. So let's turn this right down to, let's say, 1. And then the end fill is going to remember where... Let's go a bit higher. Let's go maybe 2. We don't want to be waiting too long. And then the end fill is going to be... It's going to remember the final point of where the turtle was, and then it's going to backfill the entire drawing with the color you had been using. So in our case, green. But let's, let's for demonstration's sake, just change this to blue, just so you can see that the color can change. So nice and slow. The turtle started off in the middle point. It's going to draw seven petals here because we've got seven here. It's going to draw each of them with a, a radius of 60. Oh, there we go, the end fill. So right on the last point, it remembers where it finished and where it started and fills the rest of the shape with, with the color you were drawing in. So let's, let's do the same for the other two. Sam.begin fill dot end. See how it's going very slow? It's because we've changed our speed to two. For this next demonstration, I'll, I'll make sure I put it up to like 100 or something like that again. All right. Now, if this all works correctly, we should have all of our flowers filled up with their specific color. Let's change this one back to green. And let's run for one last time. Nice and fast. Oh, look at that, pretty pattern. There we go. So, that is a quick and easy way of drawing some shapes in Python using the turtle feature, defining a whole bunch of functions. So we've got one, two, three functions here. And then we're calling them flower, we're calling an adding in the parameters here. And within the flower function, we're calling the petal function, which we've defined up here. And then before the flower function starts to, to go, we're calling the move function. And so everything works from top to bottom. So it's gonna start off by defining Sam, because if you imagine there's a line here, we define all of our rules first, and then we start to write what we want, what we want to happen. So we define Sam as the turtle, aka the drawing parameter. We give it a speed, and then we give it a color, give it a shape. Now, this shape can be a number of different things. Turtle is, is a fun one. We call the move function. So rather than the green flower starting in the center, we move it across a little bit, and then we begin the fill in the position where the turtle ends up. So negative 150 pixels from the center, and then it starts to draw the flower with these parameters that we've defined up here. And then it ends the fill and colors the flower in green. Then we repeat the process for the red and the blue flower. And we're done. We get some, some pretty shapes. So that's, a, that's my brief explanation. Or, well, not, not fairly brief. I'm finding this video is going to last 20 minutes now. But that's, that's essentially how, how I did this project on Udacity. And how did I do it? Well, I looked, did like a whole bunch of Googling. You can see we've got some websites here with Python code, example of how to use Turtle. And then I just chopped and changed the code to suit me. But I sh the project asked me to draw one of these shapes and I ended up with wherever they've gone. It's lagging out. But yeah, hope you gain some value out of this. If you haven't, well, then I'll keep making more videos and hope you get more stuff out of that. But I'm rambling now, so I'm going to get back to the next project and uh, I'll, I'll record that when I'm doing it and then we'll, we'll see where we end up. So I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.